Hey, what Packers Crimson Wolf, and welcome back to Dragon Age to Veilguard. So, we are back at the lighthouse. I don't remember where I actually last left the last episode off. Um, but Laura wants to talk to me. Okay. Um, real quick, because I did I, I do log in for like a second just to see, but I got on and I saw this and one other thing. So real quick, we're gonna read this. Command armor note. I guess this chest got lost in a fade. And someone sh shepherded it to our doorstep. Is it just me or does the armor look somehow familiar? Like something an old friend would, would wear. Harding. Ooh, what is this? Actually, I didn't know. I don't know what that is. I'm about to go check that up. Abundance. Hmm. I'm still a good bit, a bit away. Uh, real quick, and there was one other thing I did. I think I didn't open the chat. Oh. oh, hold on. Does this trigger the cutscene if I go in here? He's on trigger the cutscene. Alright, it doesn't. Alright. Let me see something real quick. I want to see what this new armor looks like. That's the Grey Warden one. That's not bad, actually. I could put that on a tavern. Is that? A, mm, okay, did I not get the other one? Oh, yeah, here it goes. Secrets of the past. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that one a lot. I'm okay with that. Did I get anything in here? For me to wear besides this silk looking stuff I've been wearing. I don't. Um, I'm cool. No, no, no. Back to you. I feel like it's got re reorganized. There was an update, funny enough. Um, wait, hold on. What is this one? Is, is this the other one I got? Oh, okay. That's uh, these aren't bad. I actually like these. Wait, was that the update? Huh. But no, these are not bad at all, actually. Uh, I might have to keep the silky looking ones I've been wearing. It looks like they've updated. I'm not sure if that was the update. Uh, let's see, Battle Axe, which I'm um, cool. I don't particularly care for Battle Axe. Where's the one I had? I might have, that, is, that definitely is it. That one's fine. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, as far as my shield one, that's the one I got. But I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much sold on this one. I won't think I'm gonna switch it after that. And then I got one for the axe, which don't really care. Take it a helm one. Let me turn that on and see which helm I got. It's a long-faced one. Um, <laughs> no. If I was to go with any helmet, it'd probably be this one. But if I, they usually put them together. This one technically goes with the. No, it doesn't. Because what I have on is more of a red. Um, no, none of this really goes with what I got right now. Funny enough, that the, the uh, hmm. it doesn't matter. I have the helm off. I have that showing off anyway. And I still says I have a helm. What? Which one? Because I don't see a spark next to it. I 
What the? Oh, they've added one. They've had they. Okay, they've added a. I still. I'm not. I'm not going through that again. Um. I already don't give a crap. Oh, wait, what you got? Oh, I got you a new staff. I got all your staffs now. Oh, you know what? That's dope. I like that one. Okay, and I have all her staffs now. Because if you look to right here to the left, five of five. No, I still only have five of your seven. I'm missing two of your things here. Um, I have all four of your off-handed weapon. Yes. Which that's not really hard to. Oh, it's on the other one. And go with that one. Yeah, a bit ugly, don't you think? Eh, sure, whatever. I'm not really all that invested. I went with that one for you. Yeah, let's go. Let's keep. Let's stay with that one. Lucanus, you have a new one. I'm not sure which one. I think it might be this one. I think that's what you was wearing when I first met. I'm, uh, I'm, I don't think anything's beating it. And this is your dagger. I don't think anything's beating it. Ooh, okay. I, was about to say, I don't think anything's beating this dagger, but this one's nice. I like that one. I don't think do you have anything that's going to beat the one you have right now. Interesting. Nice. Still nice. Hmm. I'll go with that one. Harding. I got you a new bow outlook. It looks like I'm not sure which one. It's all your bows kind of suck. Okay, that one's better. That one's actually very dwarven. And I did not get you a new anything there. I like this on Emmerich. No, nope, definitely not. I'm okay with that one. I have not gotten you a new staff. Davern, let me see. Do I get you a new? Don't care for that. No, definitely not. This is the only one I would give you. No, let's go with that one. That one's fine. And for your shield. Yeah, let's give you a less bulky shield. I guess I have all your shields now, too. And I have all your uh, swords. Not that many to choose from. And Valara, I don't think you have anything better than this one right now. That's a that's the thing from the from the trailer. That, eh, you know, you can stick with it. I don't think I no, I don't have another one for you right now. And then I'm back to me. Okay. Cosmetic wise, everything's done. And I got some new Elmar I'm okay with. There was one other thing I saw. That I want to do real quick because I went in here. What was that noise? Okay. Into the abyss. Now there's a wisp thing for this. Need a wisp. 
in because this was not here before. Doom, doom, doom. All right, another portal. The sign flash to white hurts my eyes a bit. All right, new codex and a chest. A great axe, which is not higher than what I have. It has better stagger, but not physical damage. Question Does this count towards the. That counts towards the two chests for this? Yes, it does. Alright. I'm just missing one chest here. Alright. Now I'm getting somewhere. All right. All right. That did it. I'm not sure what it did. And I can't jump up. Wait, what? Why are there? All right, let's go see. He says something about another room opens. So is it the room across from this thing? Because I use three wisp. Oh look, yep, yep, it's open. Okay, whoa, whoa. It has the tail of Finharel, but it has... Oh, no. Okay, so the wolf art is just howling. All right. Alvin Rockbreaker. Still not better than what I have. Although the stagger is ridiculous. The stagger on this thing is stupid. Where did this take me? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure height from up here will kill me. It looks like my doll's headdress. Or Flemeth's headdress. Um, is Mathal's head, is, is Femme's headdress Mathal's headdress? I think it is. All right, let me go talk to Valara, which Valara is up here. Sorry, I mean, hello. Everything okay? I don't know. I don't think so. Yanarl is missing, and others, Strife, I mean, Strife, told me. What kind of missing? They went back to where I met you, where we found the archive. You know, just in case. It's been a week. No one's heard from them. And it's my fault. It's not your fault, Bellara. Please, I need to blame someone, even if it's me. Bellara, they know what they're doing. It's not on you. Isn't it? If... If I missed something, if that artifact turned back on... Let's start looking where we met earlier. Where the Veil Jumpers would have gone in. Might be another anomaly, or more demons. Well, let's... Just be ready. Ready for what? For anything.
Lara has a bad habit of trying to blame herself for a lot of stuff. She's gonna have to really uh, get over that a bit. All right, so let's see. So we could view one of the memories in the lighthouse real quick. Let's do that. And then we could do one of their uh, main missions. I, I'm gonna see which one. I'll probably start with my least favorite companion. Uh, let's see. Hey, how do I? Oh, it's under. It's under me. I saw this before. I was not certain you would come. You were the one who walked away. I never turn my back when my friend needs me. The Avenue is seek the magic of the Blight. Impossible. The Blight is safely sealed away forever. No, oh, I wish I could believe you. I have sensed the breaking of the wards. I will investigate your claims. If they forget the danger of the Blight, I will endeavor to remind them. What if instead you left the Avenuris? And remained with me. Do you not wish for freedom from this struggle? Be at peace, love. I will stop them. As you must. The blight is our mistake. Did Mithal call Solas love in that memory? That's what it sounded like. So they were doing it. The elven gods were free with their emotions. They felt things deeply. The way they expressed things, well, it feels romantic to us, but that wasn't really how it was. Back then, I mean. Nah, they were doing it. As someone who has Solus talking in my dreams, I'm with Ballara. I just can't see Solus carrying on a secret affair with Mithal. Can't because you don't think he would, or can't because you don't want to think about it while he's in your head? Yes. So the Dread Wolf goes to Mithal. They might be fighting, but they have history. And he warns her about the other god using the Blight. That's more important than his rebellion. It's like kingdoms coming together when an archdemon rises. Mithal didn't think it was possible. She said the Blight was sealed away. There's an old legend about it, Davern, the one with Andrul's armor. Not sure it matters. We're deep in elven lore already. What's the legend say? Right. Well, Andrul was the goddess of the hunt. She put on armor, magic armor, made of something called the Void, drove her mad. I remember this one. The other gods were afraid Andrul would turn on them. She was doing all kinds of horrible things, causing plagues. It does sound like the Blight. Well, it all ends with Mithal fighting Andrul. After, Mithal turned into a dragon. She what? Why didn't you start with that? Anyway, she took Andrul's armor away. Then Andrul's madness left, and peace returned. Intriguing. So it's possible Andrul stumbled onto the magic of the Blight. And when Andrul went mad, Mithal took it from her and locked it away. Until someone started using it again. Okay, Solus warns Mithal about the other gods using the Blight. It's not just bad, it's something bad he feels responsible for. The Blight was our mistake. How is the Blight their mistake? Did they find it? Did they make it? What does that mean? Whatever it was, it convinced Mithal to take him seriously. So Mithal goes off to investigate what Solus says. Then, what? It's too clean. Seems plenty messy with them doing it. But this isn't just a memory. It's something Solus wanted to hide. What's the crime? What did we see here that he feels guilty about? I think I might know. When the Inquisitor was saving the world from the breach, he met Mithal. 
What? Like, in a dream? It was complicated. She helped the Inquisition. There was a magic pond and a dragon. Nice! The point is, she also said the other elven gods betrayed her. Killed her. Okay, sorry. Point of order. If they killed Mithal, how was she still around to help the Inquisition? Elven god magic? She'd spent centuries gathering strength and sharing people's bodies, I think. If it was a truly benign possession, that speaks to her character. Solus tried to do the right thing by warning Mithal about the other gods using the Blight, but he got her killed. Well, it's not just that she died. What do you mean, Tosh? It's... Ugh. There was stuff he wanted to tell her. But he waited too long, and then she was dead. He never got to make it right. That twists you up. That's it. There's our crime. Doesn't really tell us anything we can use, though. We know more than we did. That's something. Then I guess we keep our eyes open if we come across more of these memories. I like the idea of going through it. And real quick, so if you've watched my channel or anything or watched any videos I've made on like my theory ones, I did the theory about Andrew's armor. And as soon as they mentioned it, I was like, oh, I was right. She wore armor of the blight. But granted, that is not a a hard stretch to make because of how it's talked about. Uh, armor of the void, like everything like it comes across in that codex about Andrew and Mithal's fight. It very much seems like the blight and it's not it's kind of like on the nose for it. So I love this game because it's really tapping into all like all those theories and what the codex meant and everything. And it's kind of bringing to light a lot of it. There's still some things a little foggy. The forgotten ones is my biggest thing and a few things here and there. But so far they're answering a lot of the questions that, you know, we a lot of people in like Dragon community had theories on, which is, I think it's amazing. All right, so we are going to go talk to Sodas. And I'm going to see how much time I have left after that to um, do a quest. But let's go into the meditation chamber. Okay. Actually, hold up. Before I do that, I might want to... I'm kind of killing time a little bit. I also want to change this dwarf thing. Okay. Well, I thought I was going to get something different, but never mind. All right. The fall of Weishaupt reverberated across the Fade, as did the fall of an Archdemon. But unless I am mistaken, both Elganan and Gilanane yet stand. We took down Gilanane's archdemon, but we weren't able to kill her. And how are you doing? Right now, I'm more concerned with how the team is doing. I expect their morale is shaken after what happened. They have what it takes to stop the gods. I just need to get them to believe it. Indeed. They must know beyond any doubt that you believe in them. You cannot stand against Elganan and Gilanane with logic. Those motivated by greed or self-interest will change alliances. But those who serve you with passion and loyalty will follow wherever you lead. Even to their deaths, if necessary. I'm not planning to order anyone to their deaths. If you gain their loyalty, they will need no orders. They will volunteer. I can't build these people up knowing I might have to send them to their deaths. There's always another option. Perhaps you are right. Building your team is the best way to minimize the chance of such an order becoming necessary. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any suggestions on our next move against the gods? If you oppose Elganan and Gilanane's minions, you will get your opportunity. 
You think one of the Antam or Venatori commanders will help us find the gods? Possibly. But more importantly, you will aggravate them. You rendered Gilanane mortal at Weishaupt. It is an embarrassment, an insult. Neither she nor Elganan can ignore. If you continue to disrupt their plans, you will not need to track them down. They will come to you. I'll be ready. One final warning. You have survived a confrontation with Gilanane, which few still live to claim. But her power pales in comparison to Elganan's. If he takes the field himself, remember, in a fight such as ours, escaping to fight another day is a victory. So Solus is terrified of Elgin Elgonaut. Or yes, he said Elgonaut, but I prefer Elgonaut. Um, he's terrified of so even like in the memories we saw, he's just straight scared of the dude. Which we haven't seen him at, in a in the flesh yet. So it's interesting. What what are y'all doing? You call Manfred Fred. Sure. He walked into my office. I said, Fred, can I call you Fred? He nodded. Seemed happy about it. If he doesn't like it... Oh, Manfred doesn't mind. He quite likes you. Does the diminutive imply a certain level of comfort with the necromantic arts? It shows a certain level of comfort with your friend. The rest of it, well, that depends. On what? On what the mage using it is up to. I hate it when they do that. They talk and then they look at me like... What? I'm just listening. Uh, did somebody else have a request? Oh, uh, the Connors did. Okay, good lord. I gotta talk to a lot of people today. Alright. Let's see what's up with that. Does he... Oh, it's after I talked to Sodas. I guess he had his uh, information came back. What are you doing over here? Taking a walk? Yes. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So he may have information on what he's going to be doing now. In Treveso. This is ominous. Biago found something. Something bad, I take it. Benatori have been sighted among the relief effort in Treviso. Zara's minions, perhaps. But Ilario is certain Zara is in Byrantium. And that any Venatori are another distraction. What do you think? I think I need to visit Treviso and find out for myself. You don't have to face Treviso or Zara by yourself, Lucanus. You can count on me. I can? That's good to know. All things considered, I'd say I owe you a favor. Let me help. You don't need to do this. But... It will make for a smoother operation. The one advantage of chaos in Treviso is... Informants get desperate. It took an obscene amount of money. But I have a solid lead. Zara is in the Chantry there. What's she doing in a Chantry? If she's there to pray, it won't save her from me. We only get one shot at this. We go when you're ready. Give them, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Lucanus' um, quest because I feel like that should be the first one I do. Uh, okay, yeah, we're good. Wait, what is this? That's the memory stain again. I'm not I'm gonna wait for a while. So we're gonna do the con can't Lucanus. I am still level 34 and I can't get into this in time level 40. Okay, so yeah, let's head to. We're gonna go ahead and companion. Wait, hold up, what? Is it a faction one? I'm confused. Uh return to Hosberg bus like 
after the storm. Davern time to track down information, but I bet. Turn to Drefesto via the crossroads to fast trap. Okay, that these are main quest lines, so never mind. We are going to do ta Tasha's first. Wait, what are they still? Oh, excuse me. Right, there it goes. It's like, yeah, they're still in there. All right, so we'll do Tasha's first, and we're going to do the companion quests. Then do um individual quest, which I need to figure out how to get Emmerich to do to get his special thing because his thing I'll show you when I'm picking my companions and we're going to just uh, I'm doing Tosh right yeah and you have a weekend so I want to show you this so his thing is still locked and I don't know. I got to figure out how to get his back up. Cause not, he's at level five. He's at five now. What below? Like everybody else is almost like four or five or six. The kind of sorry. is at four because of, um, he's hardened. So he's harder to level up, but all right. All right, so let me see. We're going across the, cr the crossroads because the voices again. Yep. Exactly why. Delays. So much more could be accomplished from the Venthenaros. Solus raised that beacon in mockery of my own tower of learning. Disrespect. Do not dwell upon it, Ergonon. The lighthouse is but one wonder we shall reclaim. It will be remade, and all traces of Fen Harel erased from its walls. Okay, so they're talking about the lighthouse. Sounds like they want to destroy it. I forgot. Can I? Yeah, I could just destroy the cactuses. Cacti? I'm going to pull off cactuses. Alright. Places between. So the reason I'm doing a crossword is because of stuff like that that might come up. And I don't want to miss anything. that your mother is quite the scholar, Tash. Yep. It must have been wonderful growing up learning from her. Yeah, it was great. Okay. She really doesn't speak much. Watch <laughs> So combat moves a little bit faster now because I've adjusted my settings. I've been tweaking my settings here and there to get them where I want them. And I made the horizontal movement faster so I can actually spin around my character a lot faster. And also I, it does is the snap no longer moves to different, uh, to different, uh, enemies. It stays on the one I'm targeting. All right. Yeah, it feels a lot, lot better. 
Alright. Wait, hold up. Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. What is this? The cabinet in the blight. Apprentice physician. Um, how the hell did I end up? I guess because this is now updated after the main quest. What is that? This is a Y sub, so I'm not sure. Um, hmm. I'll tell you guys what. We, well, hold up. I want to go. Hmm. All right. I think we can make this work. Let's get you ready. Uh, that's appearance, so I can take it. And I'll take this because it is appearance stuff. Um, that's ore. Is this the belt I have on now? That's not what I have equipped, so it's not. Uh, but I can tell you what, uh, y'all can. Wait, I can upgrade y'all now. And... Oh, let me see how many points I need. I need 150. Is there anything from here that you guys... Okay, it tells me y'all give me three. So I'm not going to get a lot for any of this. Yeah, there's nothing here that already would give me a lot. Oh, this, this will give me eight. I'm trying to see if each, their individual items gives me more from these from everybody. So that's what I'm trying to go through now. It looks like most of these things give me three. Um, uh, but stuff like oh, like dark spawn stuff obviously would give me probably more from them. Maple limb. So maybe that stuff is the stuff that would give me more is at the top for them. I guess everything else will be at the bottom. I'm trying to see. I really do want to consider if that will actually. And I actually got me right to where I need to do with them to get them level three. Or rank three. And the only thing I have to do is one more rank and I will be good there. Um, is this the thing he has equipped now? Yeah, it is. So I can upgrade it. And I don't think that's what he has equipped. So I'll get it anyway. This is what he has equipped now. And let me see. Okay. All right. I'm not going to buy those right now. What is this? I'll take it just to try it out and I'm going to look at this. All right. That's enough from you guys. Good to go. You need anything else? I'll be here. I shall. What's Thanks, Holden. I'll see you around. What's the little girl say? Hey, Mila. How are the wetlands? Blighted. Right. The wardens have a lot to do. Light it. Sweet little girl. Like her. Saved our butts. Uh. Why does she want to come here? I'll talk to you later. I'm going to get a uh, Davern to come with me. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry. First things first. I definitely saw that glowing. I'm like, I'm not moving near that. I got it. Huh. 
Ah, shit, I see. All right, Tasha, start your quest. Well, that's the last of them. All right, let's do. Tosh, what are you doing? She's not in her lair. I was ready. I could have fought her. Tosh. Doesn't matter. I can still look for clues. See if she'll turn into a monster like Killinane's archdemon did. I have to figure this out. I'm a dragon slayer. You are. But you don't have to do this alone. I don't need help. But we need you. All right? We cannot beat the gods without a dragon slayer. Wait. Look at that. Ropes. Canari ropes. The Antom. They're the ones who've been blighting the dragons for the gods. Those fucking ropes. They tie her down with these ropes so they can blight her. They turn her into something blighted and ugly and wrong. Some she was never supposed to be. Chakra Toebra. You've got to be ready to fight her. I'm a dragon slayer. Tosh. I'm a crappy Kunari. I'm not really Ravani. I'm no good as a daughter. I'm not even... I can't even be a woman, right? I have to be a dragon slayer. You're a good dragon slayer, Tosh. You're also a good warrior, a good lord of fortune, and a good member of this team. We need you if we're going to stop the gods, and you need to believe in yourself. So tell me, what's really going on? My mother put these ropes on me. She tied me up. Why did she do that? Is it because I didn't fit as a woman? Is it why I don't fit as a woman? Tosh. The Shadow Dragons say there are people who use they instead of he or she. They're not men or women. And I like how it feels when I imagine myself that way. But... I'm not supposed to breathe fire. Am I not supposed to feel like this? What does she want me to be? What do you want to be? Your mother brought you to Ravain for a better life. I know. So live it. Be who you are. Don't tie yourself down for someone else's fear. I want to be... No. I am Ravaini. And I'm not the daughter my mother wanted. That Tosh... She was never really me. Who is the real Tosh? She is... They are not a woman or a man. The Shadow Dragons had some fancy terms, but using they and knowing that, it feels good. Sounds like a good start. Thanks. Come on, let's get out of here. Sounds good. That was it. That was the quest. I don't have a problem with that, but that, uh, that was a very short quest. Okay. Uh, and that did not take much time at all. There's a chest over here. I'm going to get this chest or try to get... I know what chest this is. Screw that. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode because I'm at 45 minutes now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back here. We're going to pick this quest up and we're going to get, get through this quest. So we're going to, uh, get Davern and pick that up. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you guys in the next episode.
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, comment. And let me just say this. I'm okay with this mission with Tosh. It doesn't really bother me. So controversy or not, it's very Dragon Age to me. All right, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next one. Later, Wolfpack.